Welcome to this nursing education video. I am Anud. I am a member in documentation working group in Sultan Qaboos University Hospital. I'm going to brief you about documentation policy and guidelines in Sultan Qaboos University Hospital. Before speaking about documentation guidelines in SQH, let me summarize to you the purpose of the documentation. Documentation provides clear and accurate picture of patient while under care of healthcare team. It's a form of communication between healthcare providers, and it's a form of legal evidence. Document as soon as possible after providing care. Ensure that you look to the right patient electronic patient record. Fill the receiving note and compensatory forms. All documentation must be in checklist or narrative form. Be objective in documenting observation and events. It should be timely and chronological. Document initial medication doses, PRN medication, and exceptional events. Use SQH nursing approved abbreviation list. Document doctor's visit, attendance to referrals, and if there are any new requests. Describe procedure including what was done, when it was done, who did it, how it was done, and adverse reaction, if any. Document assessment and reassessment of patient condition. Document independent and collaborative actions. Never copy and paste an entry done by others. Never document care given on behalf of or for another staff, except during CPR. Check for spelling before authorizing. Fill closing note. Authorize each entry after completion. Verbal medication order is not acceptable even if no doctor is available on site unless emergency. Verbal narcotic order is not acceptable even in emergency situation. For other patients concerned and no doctors on site, telephone order is acceptable with the following guidelines. Write down the time and date of the physician's verbal or telephone request. Read the request back to the physician to ensure it is accurately recorded. Record physician's name and position, then state verbal or telephone order. Document that you have read back the request to be sure you have heard it correctly. Ensure that the verbal request is entered by the doctor in the EPR within 24 hours. Nurse must document the verbal or telephone order in the EPR. Our documentation should be clear, concise, accurate, and comprehensive. However, it should be true and honest. Documentation must be patient-focused. The following must be documented in the clinical notes. Patients or family refusal of treatment. Patient subjective data. Use quotation if necessary. Record patient's failure to follow requests and non-compliance. Avoid documenting staff conflict, problems, and incident reports in the EPR. Nurses are working very hard for better patient care. Your effort should be reflected in your documentation because, as you know, what's not documented is not done. In conclusion, remember that documentation can be your best defense or worst enemy. So stay safe and follow the guidelines. Thank you for watching.